Hi, I'm Dean Gavin here at Hawkins Bazaar. Hello. Today we're looking at Pandemic in part of our five minute how to play series. So we'll give you a brief overview of the game and tell you how to play. The objective of Pandemic is to stop four deadly viruses from infecting the globe. It's a game for two to four players to work cooperatively and takes about 45 minutes to complete a game. So to set up, you first have to deal with your infection deck. Now, we'll explain a bit more about the epidemic cards later, but these determine the difficulty of the game. So we'll go with four for now, but if you want a harder game, you can use five or six. So to start the game, you take the player deck and you split it into however many uh, epidemic cards you have. So in this instance, we have four. Then you take four of your epidemic cards, for these, and you split them across the decks and give them a slight shuffle, nothing too dramatic. Then you stack them together to finish creating the player deck. The next, you take the infection deck. This stage of the game is where you start the initial spread of the infection in the city. So you draw the top three cards, and in each one of these, you place three infection cubes of that color. So we've got three in Istanbul, then two in, oh, three in Chicago and three in Madrid. Madrid's there, and also Chicago. Get over here. Brief noise geography helps. Then you take another three cards, so then Atlanta, Home in City, and Cairo. And these each get two cubes put on them. And then a final three cards. And each of these gets one cube on it. So one Moscow. in Moscow. Moscow, Algiers, and Buenos Aires. These cards then get placed on the other side of the infection deck, and the rest of the deck goes face down. And you put the disease counters on the bottom of the board there like that. So, oh, we've also got a couple of other counters here, sorry. You have your infection rate counter, which goes at the top there, and your outbreak counter, which goes over the side there. So this next stage, you pick the player you want to be for the game. So each character has a different ability that helps them fight the virus more effectively, and they work really well together. Uh, you can draw them randomly, or you can select your favorite. So in which case, I'll just take one from the pile randomly. So I'm the medic. And I am the scientist. Super. And so you take your corresponding token, so in this case the orange one and the white one, and you place them in Atlanta at the start of the game. Thanks. <laughs> Along with the research station to start you off. So that's the basic setup done. Uh, so now we can start playing the game. So at the start, each player starts off with four cards in their hands. And most of these are location cards that correspond to areas around the board, and they're color coded as well. Uh, Short term is, if you collect five cards of the same colour and then travel to a research station, which are these white buildings here that you place on the game board later, you can cure a disease and start removing it from the board permanently. That's the goal of the end game, to try and collect as many coloured cards as you can to start removing the cubes from the board. Each player turn has three different phases. The first phase is to complete four different actions. Now an action can be moving one space on the board, so you can do that up to four times, or you can cure a disease in the city you're in as another action. So seeing as we're in Atlanta and there's a disease there, we can remove a cube or up to three other cubes if you want to use all your actions. Alternatively, you can use the location cards in your hand to fly to different areas. So for example, I've got Hong Kong here. If I wanted to, I could discard that and fly directly to Hong Kong. Similarly, if I was already in Hong Kong and had that card, I could discard it and fly to any other city on the board. Also, at this stage, you can place a research centre as one of your actions, uh, as long as you have the city that corresponds to that research station. For again, for this example, if I was in Hong Kong, I could discard the Hong Kong card and build a research station there. After you've taken your four actions, you then draw two cards from the player pile. One, two. In this case, I got another couple of locations. At no stage can you have more than seven cards in your hand. If you do, you'll have to discard down. So I have eight at the moment, so I'd have to discard one to keep seven cards in my hand at all times. After that, 
You then switch to the infections pile, you draw a card there, and you infect Mumbai, or whatever card is there. And a second one, Jakarta. So again, I would infect Jakarta. Then that's the end of my turn, and play would switch to the other player. Yeah? Yeah. My first move, I'm going to move to Chicago. For my next action, I'm going to clear one of these cubes down. And I'm also going to clear another one. So that's three actions. And for my fourth action, I'm going to discard Chicago and fly directly to Istanbul. My plan is I'm going to tidy up Istanbul because it looks like it's in trouble. Draw all my two cards, my countries, and in fact, a couple more places. One in Sydney, and I'm infecting Washington. Okay, then play returns to me. So for my turn, I'm going to clear up another disease cube from Atlanta, then I'm going to start making my way eastwards because a lot of the action seems to be happening over there. So I'll travel to Washington, clear that one for my third action, and move to New York for my fourth. And I will draw two more cards in a couple of locations, apart from I've just uncovered an epidemic card. Now this is when Thanks. things get really bad. So first we have to move the infection rate counter over one, which again doesn't mean much at the moment because uh, it's still on two. If it gets to three, it just means you have to draw more cards, more cards from right. yeah. every turn. Mm -hmm. So next, I have to take the bottom card from the infection pile. In this case, is Santiago, and place three counters on it. Then the infection intensifies. So you take all cards from the discard pile of the infection deck. Shuffle them, then put them on top of the pile again, which means every city that's infected so far is going to be next hit on the following rounds. And once you do that, you've still got the infection part of your turn to go, so then I start infecting more cities. So as the infection counter is still on two, I will draw two cards. The first one is Madrid. Now Madrid already has three tokens on, and a city cannot have more than three infection tokens. So adding another one to Madrid, causes the infection to spill over to every connecting city. So, from Madrid, Algiers gets infected, London gets infected, New York gets infected, as does Sao Paulo. That has been an outbreak, which means an outbreak counter moves down a position. Should the counter get to the bottom of the board, it's game over and all players have lost. But I've still got another card to draw and affect another city, Sydney. Not so bad, there's still only one counter on Sydney, so by adding another counter to it, it doesn't spread anywhere. You join us about midway through the game now, and we're ready to cure a couple of diseases. So it's Gavin's turn, and so he's ready to tackle the yellow disease. <laughs> yeah, <not the> yellow. <laughs> Don't want that one. My first action, I'm gonna to move to Santiago, which has a research station, and by the very fact it has a research station, it allows me to cure the disease. And fortunately for me and the people of Santiago, I have the cure right here. By discarding these five yellow cards, I proceed to cure the disease. So you can flip that token. And a cured disease, it still remains on the board, but it can't spread anymore. You join us at the end stage of this game, and it looks like one we're about to win. Uh, we've cured and completely removed from the board the yellow and red diseases. Uh, we've completely cured this one as well. The only one left is blue. Uh, it has come very close to losing though, because if this pile of draw cards completely depletes, we lose. Similarly so, if the outbreak token here reaches the final stage, which is currently one away from, that's also instant lose. But fortunately, on my turn, I'm going to move to the research station in Delhi. Good timing. And I've got five blue cards here, which means we can finally cure the blue disease. And with all diseases cured, that's first one pandemic. It did come very close though, and it doesn't always go that smoothly. But it's a great game, so hopefully now you know how to play it. If you have any questions or want to know anything else, just drop a comment in the box below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.